травмами у обеих команд и Зенит, проведя отличные. So, right now, would you go to Russia and take up to a million dollar paycheck to do whatever it is that you do right now to make a living? Well, there's some people that had to actually answer this question. And people have been asking this question because Brittany Griner is still there, still locked up in Russia, having to fulfill a nine year sentence because, you know, she got caught lacking. They caught her with the cartridges and all that. What's up with y'all? What's up with y'all? Welcome back to Moxie Approved. You already know what to do. Moxie Mob, hit that like button and make sure you got that notification bell turned all the way up to all. Since there's a war between Russia and Ukraine, they found out that a large number of women have decided not to play in Russia and it is directly tied to Brittany Griner and her situation, it's even to the point where some Russian teams are offering 50% more than what they usually offer just to get some women players over there. Now, on the other hand, there has been a big influx of men, black men, that have decided that they still want to play in Russia and make up to a million dollars. Playing basketball for one of these Russian leagues. Though they found out it was dozens of them. A lot of them didn't want to talk to the media, but there was three men that spoke out and wanted to tell people why uh, they don't have a problem playing basketball in Russia, even though they're in the war and they got Brittany Griner for weed, nine years, POW, something like that. Joe Tomlinson, Casey Rivers, and Jermaine Love. Joe Tomlinson, uh, he went and told the media that it wasn't his first choice. And at the end of the day, he just wants to be able to take care of his family. Uh, you got Casey Rivers from BC Samara. He's actually on a team with uh, four other Americans. KC said, that at the end of the day, you got miles to feed. So he sounds particularly just like Joe Thomason, where they're pretty much just trying to feed their family. Same thing with Jermaine Love from BC Nova God. Oh, no. Jermaine Love from BC Nova, Jermaine Love from BC Nova Gorod. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, he says, I just want to feed my family. That's my job, number one. And I tell you what, you know, I, I, I you won't find many times at Moxie that I'm gonna judge somebody from how they can legally make their money, especially if you're talking about some legal stuff, and people just trying to feed their family. Um, me, personally, I would not take the million dollar check to be in Russia right now, and it's not because of the Britney Griner situation. Uh, like I said earlier, she got caught lacking. She made a mistake. It's known that marijuana there is illegal. Unless they planted this on her, we don't know if that's the case, but what they say the evidence points to she got caught with some cartridges, which is illegal there. So this is, I'm not saying that because of Brittany Griner, because she has to be accountable. But at the same time, I would say it because of Brittany Griner. My whole situation is, I would feel like, what if I'm over there with my family and I do something that I don't really know that's really illegal? What if it's something small across the street at the wrong time, jaywalk or something like that? And they end up making me a prisoner of war. So it ain't because of her, but it is because of her, you know? Right now, Russia could be in the brink of war any moment right now. So I don't know if I would do that with my family. But once again, I don't judge these men. You tell me, do you think that these guys should be criticized because they decided to go to Russia and make more than what they would usually make over there playing basketball during the time of war? Or do you think that these men are in the wrong over there making money, uh, feed, whether they're talking about feeding their family or not because of the Brittany Griner situation? Let me know in the comments section. And oh yeah, before you get out of here, please do me one small favor and apply pressure to that subscribe button. Apply pressure to that subscribe button. Well anyways, you know how we like to end our videos over here at Moxie Approved, right? With that water. I'll see y'all here next time at Moxie Approved.